Asalaamu As Alaikum guys, how are you well? Uh, so I decided I'm gonna film my one year plus video of just an update, like how has it been since I sort of converted? Um, so I've actually been mis Muslim for roughly a year and three, four months now. So in like, in like January time, December time, it will be roughly a year and a half. I think a lot has happened, definitely. Um, I've learned a lot as a person. I remember when I, you know, first combat, I didn't know anything and I feel like now I'm so more knowledgeable um, in terms of like Islam and stuff and I can, I feel like comfortable now to form my own opinion uh, in terms of, of Islam, where what is correct and incorrect. Um, but however, that's always, always forever changing. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just begin. So, as I mentioned before, I've been Muslim for over a year now, so I converted to Islam in January, uh, June 22nd, uh, 2020, so like in the middle of pandemic. Um, I, p I have posted a video it previously of my, um, obviously, like, a story when I converted, but I could just make another one because I deleted it. <laughs> um, but definitely, a, a, there's a few things that I've done uh, since con converting. So, firstly, one of them, uh, I, I've learned how to pray. Um, learning how to pray was probably one of the most challenging things in the beginning. Definitely in the beginning. Um, but I kind of learn really quickly um what i did uh, so my sort of way of learning how to pray was like um i took one of my earpieces to my headphones and i would just have it in one ear and i would play um the prayer i had to perform the prayer in arabic in the background so like as i am like praying i I either stay silent and I'm trying to mumble, not mumble the words, but lip syncing the words. Um, and in about uh, like one month's time, that's how I learned how to pray. Um, I've so far I learned about two surahs by m uh, memory. Um, and that's pretty much that's all I know. I think that's all I'm going to stick to at the moment. Because sometimes, um, even when learning how to pray, like, and like, try to memorize parts of the Quran it's difficult because not only you have to memorize it in arabic you ha also have to memorize it in english so you understand what you're saying uh for example like i'm sure one of the things i'm struggling with is the fact that i know the prayer i can say the whole prayer but do i understand every single word um no i don't <laughs> um second of all i think my pers uh, so second of all my perspective of Islam has definitely changed in terms of modesty and a way I should dress um, because before I thought modesty of just covering my my chest area and uh, and my bum really um, that's pretty much it that's all I thought to it like you know like as long as I you know I wear sky skin tight clothing like that covers my skin I'm good to go um, and since getting more religious, since getting under, had gaining a, a better understanding of Islam, I my opinions they have changed. I do dress a lot modestly now uh, in terms of um, I don't wear skinny um, jeans anymore unless it's leggings underneath clothing, uh, unless I have like a baggy clothing on top, which co pretty much covers most of my but you know like my torso and my bum and etc um third thing i would probably say is i've started learning how to uh, read in arabic i have uh like started to learn uh, well, i've really learned like the alphabet of like you know alif ba da da and uh, the different letters and stuff and it's definitely been such a <laughs> sort of wonderful journey I think like trying to like learn how to speak in Arabic as well. Um, actually, no, I take that back. I haven't I haven't actually had any Arabic speaking and language understanding lessons. Um, but so far, I'm just keeping it simple, learning how to actually read the Quran 
and then at the moment at the same time I'm also taking lessons at my local mosque in like um Islamic studies class which um not to brag but I've myself organized because uh I think it was something I really needed um I do have uh, so I do take those classes um basically twice a week um so Monday is usually is kind of like um Islamic studies and then Wednesday is just reading at the mo at my local mosque. Um, but anyone's free to join. Don't don't be scared. DM me because it's like the more the merrier, really. <laughs> um, and I think one of the other final things I've definitely learned since converting is just the fact that of like understand how I perceive things. When you become Muslim you become more vulnerable and you're more, more uh, at least I felt more vulnerable and I had more of an understanding of other people and um, you know and Islam really teaches you like different et etiquettes and how you should speak to someone here for example just even advising them you have to like there's ways of doing it which is you have to be very aware of to not to hurt the other person and um, and you know as much as people who don't understand Islam, um, you know, they say it's, uh, you know, a not a peaceful religion. It is, and it it's, uh, encourages people to love people and, you know, be kind to them, specifically help uh, people who are um, less fortunate than you and people who, um, you know, are in need. For example, people who are homeless and don't have enough food. Um, now that's pretty much it. So I've sort of kept it like short and simple. Um, just a kind of quick update, I guess. I don't even know how long the video is, but um, if you have any specific questions, I definitely would make topics of it uh, because I feel like I really sort of miss uh, speaking about Islam um, and just sharing my story, really. So I love this.